Now this is one of my favorite houses on the street. And like I say, my neighborhood Mesta Park goes all out for Halloween. You can see the big spider here and the ghosts. I not only love this house because I love the architecture of it, I love the trees. Look at this fabulous weeping willow tree right here on the corner. I love going underneath its branches when I cross the street. But I also love it because I discovered when we moved into the cottage that uh, Tom, who lives here, was a uh, classmate of, I think it's Johnny's, and he's an airline pilot now. And he and his family stopped by. They have brought their kids up to see the garden at the cottage. And anyhow, it's just so, it's just so fun <laughs> when I discovered those kinds of things. Love that house. Love them too. Okay, these are just the dearest neighbors. I love their daughters. I love them. They're gonna come over soon for dinner. Look at the cute little jack-o-lanterns that they carved on their on their front wall. And this house is a little bit it's a little bit deflated now simply because it's daytime. They have a couple of kids and this whole thematic here is a nightmare before Christmas. They even play the music at night and there's That's lots cool. of blow-ups and stuff. But look at Jack. What's his name? Jack. Jack. Uh, anyhow, it's really fun. And then Jack's scary bride. And then they, they didn't hold back on the pumpkins. These are just a couple of the cute bungalows on the street. Okay, and this house is kind of fun. This was another surprise, the house with a turquoise door. I was just walking down the street and the owner of it shouted at me and she said, Linda, and she was um, a friend of a friend of mine who lived in Enid. Gail, you may remember Faith Farm. Anyhow, she's, she was oh, a yeah. friend of hers and she knew me through that connection. So there's just all sorts of connections. We look left and right, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yes, I did look left and right. And wow, crossing this beautiful. street over here, this house kind of reminds me a little bit of my past house. The landscaping is just really gorgeous. And this is an example of someone who overseeded their lawn with, it looks like perennial rye. And this lushness, they did theirs before I did my berms. And hopefully this is what mine will look like especially next week, if, next week if we get some rain. But I, obviously I love the clipped boxwood here. Their Halloween decorations are just a little bit, uh, a little bit more just autumnal, not necessarily Halloween-ish because they've got lights on their topiaries flanking either side of the door. So in my neighborhood, Stuart, it kind of merges. It's often called MPHH, Mesta Park. Oh, this is a fun thing. Let me see if this is, yeah, Mesta Park. But the, periodically there are these kind of markers in the sidewalk. You can see that says Heritage Hills. So eventually Mesta Park merges into Heritage Hills. And these are all older homes. And the reason, by the way, that we are walking up and down the street is because I'm going to my friend, <laughs> if you want to know, is because I am going to my friend Madeline's house. We buried the lead. We buried the lead, yes, because her, her home is going to be on a home tour for this whole area this weekend, a fall home tour. Madeline, I have known since she was a baby. She happens to be the daughter of my BFF, Deborah, and I I, I love her, love her. And you know what? Because I've been forgetting recently. Stuart, you've been bad about not reminding me to ask a question of the day. So my question of the day I'm going to ask at the front end. And that is, as we go through the house, pay special attention. So at the end, you can answer the QOD. And that is, what's your favorite thing about the house? Now this large house on the corner here is, it's, it's fun for me to kind of walk around some of the, the neighborhood because I see a lot of houses that I've helped some in the past. They've got inside that brick wall, they've got a whole beautiful courtyard 
and I have helped the couple that lives here. Um, years ago, I helped them with that courtyard back there. And then over here, and don't you just love all of the trees and how the street is tree-lined? Yeah, some really beautiful homes. I love the red clay tile roof over there. And my little cottage is small and demure, but it's actually what I need, Stuart. Watch that. Sometimes the sidewalks are a little uneven. Isn't this a gorgeous display up here? Okay, so this is this is one of the homes that's going to be on the home tour. Uh, love, love this house. Love those black and white striped umbrellas. Yeah, and it's just really a beautiful home. And this is just two blocks from me. Not a, yeah, isn't it? Isn't it just beautiful? So. So just as kind of an orientation, this home faces south, as does mine, as does the cottage. And you can kind of see why the cottage stands out some because it is, well, what I love about this neighborhood is all the homes are very, very distinctive. They're all very, very different. And the cottage, the cottage is different from all of them. Look at that beautiful Tudor home over there. And all of the landscapes slowly pan to this one, Stuart. Isn't it beautiful? Another English Tudor home. But all the landscapes still look really lush because it's been so warm. Yeah. Now we're praying for some rain next week, but yes, definitely. Definitely, this is a fun neighborhood to walk in. And if you just go maybe, I wanna say three, four blocks in that direction. Yes, I did watch. <laughs> I can also I can also hear I, yeah, and I, I can know. tell that there's nobody coming. Uh, but about three <laughs> or four blocks in that direction is just some of my favorite restaurants and bookstores and haunts. And then just a little bit beyond that is downtown. Okay, another thing I just love looking at in all of these homes, the front, front porches are absolutely phenomenal. Um, most of them are intended to kind of line up with one another to the house next door, uh, because again, these were built in the 1900s, so you could communicate with your neighbor to a greater or lesser extent, depending on the distance between the houses. My bungalow houses are a little bit closer. These are a little bit farther away. And now we're at Madeline's and those homes that are on the home tour, we'll try to put a link um, to where you can get t tickets. Um, but these that are on the home tour have these yellow flags in front of them. And now we are at Madeline's beautiful home. And when we kind of get out of the sun, I mean, look at, isn't this just staged beautifully? She's got kale, she's got mums, she's got pumpkins that are flanking up and down either sides of her steps. I see some big pots, I helped her with these, of sunshine ligustrum that's a little bit greener here because it's not in full sun, but obviously they're just really tough plants. And then all of her annuals, her coleus, all of her uh, impatience, everything still going strong. And it, I think will probably t continue to go strong for the next couple of weeks because we don't have any kind of frost on the horizon. Now, something that's really fun about coming to see Madeline is that she and her boyfriend have recently gotten engaged. So yes, I do anticipate a wedding shower at the cottage in our future pretty soon, and I will definitely share all of that with you. Um, oh, look over here. We have, we already have a guest showing up for the home tour waving to us. Her pots look great. Okay, now I'm gonna see if anybody's home. By the way, look at these fabulous 
markers that are on these older homes. So this shows that this was built around 1922. And yes, this too, like Mesta Park where I live, they kind of, again, they kind of all blend into one another. These are all historic preservation homes and to do a lot of things, you have to get permission. Okay, let's see if anybody's home. Now this is going to be so much fun. I haven't been here in a while to see what else she's done to her house. Hello. Hey, sweet pea! Oh, so good to see you. Okay, is this not so fun? Are we not so, so pumped? So fun. I'm nervous. I'm excited. <laughs> Today's the day. You got this. We got you this. You got this. Okay. So, okay, let's go in. Let's come on let's, in. Let's go in. Um, the house is in mostly there we're still making okay. the last minute touches yeah we understand and no we absolutely understand so i have given love your skirt yes, by the you. way um i have given our viewers kind of a cliff's note version that okay. i've known you since you were a baby that yes. i'm your mom's best friend blah 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 yes, blah, blah, yes. blah but i also kind of spilled the beans that you're recently engaged yes it's true <laughs> i know do you have a ring <laughs> yes, you, yes oh my gosh Gorgeous. You did so good. Okay, and just a, just as a reminder, you know, I I do have my slot to give you a wedding shower. So I, I, I just you won't even have to go far. Thank you so much. Okay, <laughs> okay. My arm. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so your house. Tell me a little bit about your house and yeah. what appealed to you both to buy it to begin with. It was the first house we both agreed on. Let's walk a little bit in, around in here. In the years of looking, it was the first house we both agreed on. And it's a 101 year old home. So we actually got to celebrate the centennial last year, the How 100 fun. year anniversary of the home. So we threw a big party. We had invited 100 friends for 100 years. Now, I think I must have missed my invitation. I'm you not sure. Actually, I, I, must I think have been out of town. I must have been out of town. Madeline loves to entertain. Was that also a consideration? Yeah, this is the, the sort of the 20s floor plan is really meant for entertaining. It's sort of right. the era in the 20s. So you'll find in a lot of these own, you know houses a, a really nice just sort of setup for that. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's Kayla and I, no kids. So we love to do that. Yeah. And we've got a dining table here to have family over. We, the Equa Poly chairs, um, just sort of a nod to our love of Santa Fe. Yes. And yes. even Mexico, San Miguel de Allende. Um, All places yeah. near and dear to our hearts. Yes, absolutely. And maybe what my most favorite thing about the house is just the windows. We are covered. We are like a glass box. Yeah. And so it allows us to have big plants like this Monstera is so happy and you think it's kind of in the shade, but in fact it is incredibly th happy and thriving. Yeah, a size of that. And I added a stake here so that I could start to get the roots to try and learn yeah, and right. wrap around and get, get it some height over time. And incredible artwork. People kind of, you know, be on the lookout for that. Um, the, I, I think you like me, we gravitate towards and this is interesting, I think, in different neighborhoods, old neighborhoods in Oklahoma City, some of the homes, because of the way they were designed many, many years ago, have better light than others. Yes. Maybe because of the architectural style of the house. But you moved, share a little bit, that you are an old home lover and you moved from another historic area. Yeah. We were over on Northeast 18th, so we've stayed on 18th came over the other side of the highway. Mm -hmm. Over by the Capitol. Yes, exactly. It's called a medical community. It's right by the OU Health Sciences mm -hmm. Center, just adjacent to Lincoln Terrace, which is also another historic. Which, excuse me for yeah. interrupting, yeah, by yeah. the way, you guys, that's where John Terman lives. So you have been in his home many times and actually we did a Southern Living video. Oh. At, 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 at that home, so, uh, we did, did your front porch, but continue. That's right, so at the old home, the house had just a total blank slate. So we'll have to link to the video or something yeah. where, I mean, incredible transformation. And it really just, I mean, I think helped us, while that wasn't the intent of the time, a couple years later, 
I mean, you know, sell the home. Yeah. And it just really, we saw our neighbors too really pick up, you know, their. <laughs> pick up their game, their up their game. Because we had these amazing pots. And A little bit. I've tried to recreate your education in my current pots Aww. with the thriller, filler, and solar. And, well, um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the grandeur of some of these homes. How many square feet is this? It's right under 2,500. Okay. So 2,495, I think, is the and, square footage. And which is, interestingly, about the size of my cottage. Mm -hmm. But this reads definitely far more grand. It's two stories. I love the way when you come in, and I think this is kind of of... Um, an earmark of a lot of these houses that when you come in, you see the grand stairwell. Mm -hmm. Now, when you moved in, did you have to do any renovation work? Did you have to redo the hardwood floors oh, or anything? They were in impeccable condition. I mean, the floors are original. The previous owners had just maintained this house with such degree of precision. So the one thing we have done is the primary bedroom, mat, uh, the primary bedroom bathroom. Okay. And um, so we we just added a tub. It didn't have a tub. Um, moved the the shower. Yeah. And um, it looks great. So it's truly been an easy house, given the, the fact that it is a hundred years old. I mean, it's in really good shape. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 just, well, and I knew that when you moved in, that it was an incredible shape. So tell me a little bit about how you would describe your aesthetic and your style. You know, it's interesting because Kale and I didn't really have a style together. Um, we were really in our last home uh, uh, using a compilation of hand-me-down furniture mm -hmm. and even some college furniture. So I would say it's it's contemporary, but with, sort of you know spots of of that santa fe influence yeah. like the 1920s navajo rug there might be a 1940s it was a an heirloom from my late grandparents it was in their entryway so it's super special yeah uh, you see a lot of that in in santa fe and in the, in the american southwest um so yeah you know I think that's... and it speaks to your it speaks to your interests your mom said she she describes you as a minimalist. Mm -hmm. um, maybe that's just in comparison to her. I wouldn't call her a maximalist, <laughs> but she and I probably have about the same yeah. the same degree of, of yeah. adornment to yeah. to our home. She, by the way, is the fiddly fig whisperer. She can grow fiddly figs like no one else. And so, Steve Bender, if you hear this recently, I saw that you posted something that said, fiddly figs really do not make a good house plant. <laughs> well, I would say that Deborah would beg to differ because she has to give hers away because they get yeah. so big. I really get that. She grows them and then they, we transplant them to my house. So, <laughs> we, we actually lobbed off about three feet of that guy because it was starting to curve and I... I'm really regretting it. Maybe it would have started to really arch over the window. I don't know. Well, but yeah. How um, high can a sycamore grow? If you know. cut it down, you yeah. won't. You won't know. Love this vignette right here. Just love yes. the vignette, yes. and I love the way the chartreuse of this pothos just really highlights all of the dark, the dark things. Okay, so I've got one of these too. Did I get? Match. Yeah, they're a match match thing. Um, I, I love it. One of the, this is another beautiful piece. The, uh, the candle there, it's called a glassy baby. And they're, they are hand blown in Seattle. My mom and I are both absolutely obsessed. I know with you the are. Brand, and I have far too many babies as we call them. Yeah. I think <laughs> didn't I spot some as we came in? We'll have to um, show those. I'm confident there's <laughs> every color. And they really support a good cause. They give back to the community and their needy yeah. family. Yeah. Well, speaking of giving, I brought you just oh, a little oh, smile present. This nice. is my smile present for this for this What's season. What does smile present mean? Is it just to bring you a smile? Yeah. It's oh. just yeah. It, I just bought a whole bunch of them, and just periodically when I visit people, this is so. This is the Halloween season smile present. These will be absolutely perfect for the entertaining tonight. Um, and my mom's famous cookies. Oh my gosh. Got out and yes, maybe. I cannot believe, because she's been sick. And I, I, let me tell you guys, these cookies are crack cocaine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are, she has, uh, Stuart, you are the mm -hmm. beneficiary of 
of some of them the other day. She brought some when we got back in town because she's so sweet and thoughtful. She brought us chicken enchiladas and some chocolate chip, co chip cookies. Aww. Not great if you're trying to lose some weight. <laughs> oh my gosh. The secret is all the nuts. Yeah, yeah, the secret is, is all the nuts. Okay, what did you do to the kitchen? And exactly. talk about light infused. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's just truly like living in a glass box. And we, we absolutely love our neighbors. And you've got their screened in patio. And they are out there every night with a gaggle of friends on that patio. So it's just so fun. Um, I've done nothing to the kitchen. And this was all beautifully done. We've got the soapstone countertops. I do try to put a... Uh, you know, a mineral oil or mm -hmm. a wax on them a couple times a year. They probably actually need that now. Um, and the beautiful tr traditional wallpaper was here. We haven't touched that. And then my mom's help with a yeah. With the, she the this books. Is, yeah. This is a statement of hers. She likes to color sway. She does color sway her books. Um, now let's talk a little bit because I get this sometimes too. Uh, people that live in areas where the lots are a lot bigger and they're not used to older neighborhoods like ours where the houses are very close to one another um, and they say oh you know don't you feel like your privacy is compromised or whatever obviously you've got blinds here that yeah. you can that you can close but interestingly um, to me, I've, there's a degree of safety. Mm -hmm. I feel almost safer because I live close to my neighbors yeah. and, and we all look out for one another. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's comforting and I think it's sort of the community aspect. You yeah. get to chat in the front yard yeah. and your dogs are outside right. and we do a lot of porch sitting, so yeah. it's a... Uh, you don't even have to get it. off your porch to visit with somebody on their porch. No, it's just a, it's yeah. like pretty much once mm -hmm. a day. It's mm -hmm. a wave <laughs> yeah. through the window. And you know, and, and I, I say this laughingly, but I'm completely serious about this. When you, when you reach that stage of, help, I can't get up, that's really important. Yeah. And I explained ad nauseum that one of the reasons I moved to, and I didn't move away from my old house, I moved to this very intentionally. You knew I was looking mm -hmm. for a house over here mm -hmm. for a good long time. And, and when the cottage came on the market with you on one end yeah. and your brother <laughs> on, the, on other. the other end and your mom a couple blocks here, well, yeah. it just seemed, you know, it, was, it seemed it, prophetic. You, and a house garden that was completely, you could start. Yeah, I start, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this so, is just absolutely incredible. I love it, love it, love it. I love, love so this. These are a world market find. They're a restoration okay, cover dupe. They mm -hmm. look like my mom chairs. Have you, I don't know. Oh, I haven't no. tried. Okay, I've got a tall back version of this. Oh, from I, World Market as well? No, oh. it, it, I got it off of Amazon, Amazing. unbelievably. But oh it's a gosh. tall version. It's exactly this color. It's a little bit narrower, mm -hmm. uh, but it too is on rollers. Yeah. And um, is it? So I mean, these are just yeah. They're these so these are just great, and they're they, mm -hmm. they actually they're probably ma manufactured by the same probably. by the same people. Mm -hmm. And I love this color. I, I love this color. Given your gardening uh, followers. And I just maybe wanted to point out the rose, the enormous rose bush through the window. Yes. And it's when it's in full bloom in the summer, it is just so wonderful. And I see you've already got a couple of guests. You kind of need to offer some of those chocolate chip cookies too. Yeah. <laughs> On the front end. So yeah. We, maybe we need to put one in its hand. And in the back. Did I ever tell you that, that um, you were a little blurb in my book? No, and your book's up here somewhere. If it's yeah, well, here, yeah. It's... Well, no, you were a, a little blur because remember when I came over to your house early the, the on? Peppers, the peppers. The peppers. And you couldn't grow anything, but you, in the foreground of your ornamental beds, yeah. you had peppers. And then you kind of went pepper crazy. crazy. <laughs> and I was getting hundreds of peppers a week, and yeah. I was overwhelmed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, shishitos and jalapenos yeah. and habanero. And... Yeah. And you're the first person I. I I think I knew that grew shishitos, and then I immediately had to start growing them too because I had pepper envy. Just get a little blister. I know, I know, I know. It's togarashi. Yeah, mm. it's it's the best ever. Okay, so this, and it's it flows. It just really flows yeah. so so beautifully. So then this just orients you guys. Yeah. So this goes towards the front, and this goes towards Kale. Hi, Kale. 
<laughs> towards Kale and, um, and, and toward the front stairway and right to the front door. So the flow. It's a big circle. It's a big circle. With a, 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 a secret passageway down the middle. Yeah, say. it's really incredible. And then you've got a nice passageway here yeah. with. A little bathroom with an add on, actually. So. Um, oh, love that wallpaper. It's a really fun uh, wallpaper called Artie, and it's just like splashes of paint. Oh, and I have to, I have to show. Another glassy. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's a signature touch. It's a signature touch. Love this wallpaper. You and your mom, you are not afraid of color. We're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like to make yeah, big punches of, of color and make a statement with color and I love again all the homages to Santa Fe yeah, the restress. Um, it's good luck good yes the restress and, and this is a fun little nook over here okay, I turn around. and we use it practically during the year it's a little styled up right now for this home tour but it's our coffee bar okay so there's wonderfully an outlet there on the wall and That's so nice. we yeah we can just we down below keep our coffee mugs and and there's the roses again. And there's the roses again. What a, what a, whoever thought through this house, yeah. really very, very user friendly. Yeah. It's very user friendly. Got a storage closet. By the way, this is the back door. Stuart, if you don't mind kind of looking towards this, can I open this? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. It's a wraparound porch, and it wasn't always that way. So the previous owner had the foresight to take the what is now the screened in porch which was walled up mm -hmm. and used as an office and uh bring it back to its original glory with screened in now i remember the other video now you remember the other video we, we did it out oh. here we never went in we just did it right here oh no we yes we did a sh we did another one here <laughs> actually well, i've forgotten <laughs> i've exploited you a couple That's of okay. times darling <laughs> uh, but she's got such incredible style look at the i mean an underused plant, you know, Jim Putnam and I were just talking about underused plants. Look at these glorious abelias. And, and uh, to me, at my stage of life, maybe your stage of life, because you and your husband, do you mind telling what you do? Yeah, I work for um, a consulting firm and I'm in the AI group. So artificial intelligence help, you know, our clients all over the all over the world. We, we have a couple of conversations about that, don't we? We do. Yeah, and Kale? Kale's in the oil oil business. Okay. And uh, their pipeline. So yep. um, yeah. So so there you go. But look at look at just and you both are good gardeners. But I what I started to say was you both travel a lot for work. your for work. Yep. And so the scale of this is probably just perfect for you. It's, it is. We, we have some great help and we're on the, we're, you know, we're on the road a couple times a month each, but, um, I mean, with these big, like the, um, some of the flowering that happens, the mounding of these plants, it just, it's just va va voom, but with little maintenance, yeah, you yeah, know, and you yeah. can't even see the weeds if they're there. Well, that's the beauty of living mulch and things like lantana, which gives you the va va voom factor can really, and can yeah. really handle really can handle all the heat. So this is this is just wonderful here. And and then let's go, let's peek through these windows here. Where we have just uh, actually gotten these chairs. They've been on order for months. They came in today. Oh so my actually, gosh! You know, these other swivels we have that are on standby. We've got to get them out of the house for tonight. This was um, a big point of contention. This was what you were you were really cogitating over last time I was here. Is these yeah? The it, is this area? That's right. Because we spend this is our spot. You know, and and especially in the winter when we don't want to be on the patio where we have the sun's coming in. And you're like a cat. You just <laughs> curl yeah. up with a blanket, a cup of coffee, a book, and it's just, so it was important to get this room right. And it's an interesting, it's sort of a, you know, I've seen in old photos, it was used as a dining room. I mean, there's a lot of- things. There's so many different applications. Yeah. And I think for you guys, you've already got a dining room. So this is yeah. the perfect, 
the perfect application, a wonderful spot to just read and then more empirical evidence to the fact <laughs> that your mom is the fiddly fig whisperer. I need to get her to, to hand me down one for that. There's more behind you too. For the cottage. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> oh my gosh. We might need to make a t-shirt for Reading, I know, we, you should. Whisperer. You should. And I love the whole vibe in here, I love how clean it is. Obviously, it will be sans these chairs. And you were getting rid of these because I think people will look and say, oh, well, why would you want to get rid of these? Yeah. But they were starting, you said, to kind of break down a little bit. And you, you wanted something. And you, did you, are you going to try to sell them on Facebook? or yes. uh, Facebook, Marketplace. Yeah. Maybe uh, there's a couple other apps that are really good for that as yeah. well. Um, no, but the salmon, I'm devastated in many ways because this sort of terracotta color of these is just incredible. Yeah. And so, yeah, but they're really in quite good shape. Yeah, they are in good shape. Um, and this is the screened in porch over here. And isn't this fun? Now this, oh my gosh. This is a little bit of heaven. I don't know I would ever leave this spot. We don't. I would ever leave this spot. And, and, and I'm going to interject here. Remember my question of the day. <laughs> Pay attention to all this stuff. What is your favorite thing? So Kale's um, grandparents in their front yard had a very old tree that was 100 years old plus, And it was struck by lightning, you know, with the Oklahoma oh. storms. Oh, yes. And killed the tree. So we, we were able to salvage a part of the trunk of this tree. It looks like you treated it. Yeah, it was way. treated. We found some, I mean, amazing people. And so now it's a coffee table, which is, or a, an end table, but it's, you know, it's special to us too. Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I love the time. way you honor and, and venerate your grandparents and your family history and the area that you, you came from. This is, these mums are just incredible. Are these Brit from Brick? Did they're, you get these uh, at Brick? TLC. TLC? They're the jumbo mums. TLC yeah. is another independent nursery here um, in Oklahoma City, but I can just, oh my good, goodness, is there any better place to nap while you're watching a football game? And no. <laughs> how do, how, no, how no. do you decide where you're going to have your morning cup of coffee? If it's warm, so yeah, if it's there you go. May to November, it's out here. Yeah. And if it's cold, then it's right there. Yeah. So. But I mean, it's again such a great venue for entertaining, and you and your mom both—they're entertainers extraordinaire. And in and Papa Jim, mm -hmm. and we both love and adore, he was in the restaurant business, yes. so he really knows how to entertain. And I learned everything from my mom, so, uh, and still have a lot to learn. And here you go, what I am reading and listening to this week, and this is a recommendation from Leah. Take it away, Leah. Linda, finally, after <laughs> months of me telling her to do so, picked up my favorite book, which is called The Overstory by Richard Powers. It's a, uh, what are you thinking so far? Oh my gosh, it's, it's incredible. It's about trees, near and dear to my heart. And fun, I had actually had it on reserve, and this is a tip, I had it on reserve at the library for a long yeah. time, and then I was able to pull it up while I was, I was away. I read it on the plane on my Libby app. Love so that. if you don't want to, if it doesn't fit into your budget budget to buy the book, then, you know, obviously you can rent it from your library or you can download it or, or something. So, but it is, I'm about halfway through and so, yeah, I've already teared up a couple of times. I really, I tell people that book changed my life and I really think it did. It was, was there one, I have to ask, was there one particular story in it that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you guess. Uh, after okay. After okay. Because I haven't read all of the stories yet. Okay. So that's that's kind of our deep read mm -hmm. and then for a fun read and I don't know have I showed this book before you like guys show, send it in the newsletter maybe okay well I want to I want to give it a shout out again a sweet floral life by Natasha Saudi Saudi um, but anyhow it's just wonderful and I am really smitten right now with one arrangement in particular called The Last Splash. Now I love these colors. This looks like you too. 
Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And because they're caramel colors. Mm -hmm. and, and by the way, you have a darling caramel outfit on. Is that thrifted? Um, this was thrifted from my roommate's closet. Yeah. <laughs> and that's always it's a good a way. Shacket. We yes, talked about shackets. Shackets. I love it. Well, I, I am interested in this, the, the last splash. And by the way, I just came in from, from outside shooting with Jim Putnam. And it's kind of breezy out there, kind of cold. And so I'm, I'm, for me, I'm having trouble getting my mouth to work. Um, but I just cut the last of all of my zinnias yeah. from outside and I'm getting ready to do a last splash arrangement myself inspired by this image. But this is really a wonderful book if you are into flower arrangement, arranging, floral design, anything like that. It's really, really beautiful in the arrangement. Speak to me. Okay, let's talk. We haven't, I don't know if we've done any Little Life Luxuries. The past couple of weeks have been kind of chaotic. But there's two Little Life Luxuries that I've been asked about and they're just fun. Mm -hmm. They're just little, they're just little fun things, Love you know? It. So I saw these and I just loved the pattern. Mm -hmm. And these are paper that could be used as a paper napkin or they could be used in your bathrooms or whatever. But they came in a really large quantity and I think they just are so wonderful for Halloween. We had a lot of people comment. So a lot of people commented, house. yes, because yeah. I gave you some of these. And so what I have started doing since they came in a large quantity is whenever I go to visit someone or whatever, I just get a stack of them like this and then I tie them up with some pretty velvet ribbon and it's just a little seasonal mm -hmm. smile present. Inexpensive, doesn't, you know, doesn't take a lot of effort or whatever, but it's just a fun, just a fun little touch, I think. And I love the way they look. I've got them on my bar right now. I tend to use them more as napkins than in my bathroom. Um, and then I found these because this will be my first Thanksgiving at the cottage. And I really wanted to kind of, I don't know, do a few things to make it special. And I saw these and I loved them. They were at a great price point. And... And they're slightly different. Okay, so so there's oh, that one. Different. Yeah, they're slightly different. Hold, <laughs> hold, hold yours. They come in sets of three. Here's another one. I love that they're different. Yes, I do too. Now you could obviously these are these are towels, and you could obviously use them as towels. You could also just use them as maybe even kind of a, a placemat or something for mm -hmm. to put underneath the centerpiece on your table. But what I am thinking they would be brilliant as is get these in multiples and use them as napkins That's what I was on thinking. your Thanksgiving table. Or, you know, obviously everything like this can be... Like a napkin ring or something? Yes, with a napkin ring or... But I... I wouldn't want to cover up that pretty yeah. little turkey. I don't know. So I just think it, I just think it would make a great statement. Would make a great housewarming gift or hostess gift if you are the a guest at someone else's mm -hmm. Thanksgiving table. I just and I just think they're beautiful, and I love the fact that they're kind of understated and yes, and just and just uber uber autumnal and be speaking the season. So these are the things that I'm kind of thinking about in advance, just tiny inexpensive life luxuries that improve our quality of life. Okay, we're not even at Halloween yet, but yet we are starting to compose our favorite Christmas gift items, are we not? And First and foremost, always in my top five, Elizabeth, we love your work at HO Tiles. Look at these. Are these earrings not absolutely right. incredible? I'll show them one at a time here. So. Yeah, yeah, Stuart. <laughs> and, and Stuart, you, we've been a fan of hers mm -hmm. and her work for a very long time. This has always been, you've given earrings mm -hmm. to your mom, I've given them to my sister, and now my second reason that I love them is, okay, what's our color of the month? Caramel. Caramel. And you know what? I now have a new, a new kind of color companion thing going here because look at how wonderfully this blue and white goes with this caramel color. 
Aren't those, first of all, they look so much like you. Thank you. They I look agree. so much like you. But this color of blue with this caramel color, isn't it wonderful? I love it. That's a color combination I don't know that I would have naturally thought of before, but thanks. It really kind of goes with your house. Yeah, though. my house like and your... everything. Yeah, so if, if I take off my earrings when I come in the door and set them down, they just look like yeah, another. It just look like yes, part of the decor. Part of my, yeah, part of my decor, but I just. I, her work is just so inspiring and just seeing that blue with that caramel color makes me think, Ooh, that's a color combo oh that I think I need to adopt for this fall. I'll be showing you some more of her beautiful pieces a little bit closer to Christmas as we do the Christmas countdown. But in our newsletter, Leah, this is our number one item on our Christmas recommendation yeah. list any of the pieces of jewelry i i encourage you we'll put a link i encourage yeah. you to go and check out her really works of art not just jewelry well i love this perspective i love the vantage point i love the way it looks through those windows towards your charming carriage garage yeah. doors did yeah. you add those no no that was all original to the house it's uh they're like barn doors and we have a padlock out there and um, we keep our bikes and, and, and things like that. It's just perfect. So and and I have to. <laughs> you have also what do you call it? A surrey with a fringe on yeah. top. Yeah. She has a surrey that's got a little motor on it. You may have seen me, seen me riding around in it with Madeline driving and your niece and nephew, on and there my yes it's precious a little six seater bike. So it's yeah. Got, explain what it is. Yeah, it's so it's got a roof, sort of a tarp roof with a little fringe, and then it's it's you might be on a boardwalk in a beach town and see yeah. you could that rent these bikes, and so um, yeah, I invested yeah. in one. It's so <laughs> much fun, and, but it is like a little surrey with a fringe on top. Okay, I know I'm <laughs> we're gonna I'm gonna get asked, so I'll just go ahead and ask you now. Yeah, you've got these are marvelous black lamps i see you've got another glass okay. baby over there um those are are just great looking those were an online find i'll have to find the link and share it with you're you. kidding no i'm not kidding so very much passionate about the high low you know styling and because they look so expensive and they so match your aesthetic and they look almost like a work of architecture I mean, just really beautiful. Tell me about your long pillows. The long lumbar pillows. They're from a, uh, a, an online uh, a brand as well. It's called Citizenry. And I just absolutely love them. They work with, um, you know, artists around the world. And, you know, the gives you that little bit of that Southwest uh -huh. vibe. And um, Which is also here, very kind of Afghani, too. There's definitely some... Over, overlap there. They work with, yes, all over the world. So I wouldn't be surprised, in fact, if that was, you know, woven by Afghani women, yeah, for example. Yeah. Um, what about that piece? Oh my goodness. It's a, so it's a rug runner that didn't work for the location. Yeah. It wasn't quite the right thing. And I just folded it up and put it on the back of the couch. And I think it does brings yeah. Color Did together. you squeal with delight yeah. when you saw how great <laughs> yeah. it was? Kind of, and I'm sure it's my mom's idea, so like make no mistake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's just this is all absolutely incredible. Look at this. Look at this cute little calendar here. We we have this. It's a digital art, and I'll have to go get the app my phone so you can control it with an app. And let me do it. As just, as only someone so who who works in AI. Only someone who works in AI would know about and could do. Now, if it communicated with you, that would, yeah, that would yeah. make it AI. So it, it pre-programs every single day, you know, fun quotes, jokes, art, and with the push of a button, you can say send. You can also customize it yourself. Oh my gosh. It is way, way fun. That is really interesting. Oh my word. And I could even say, you know. Wow, that on a large scale would be Would be so incredible. Cool. It almost has the, and the sound is so it's fun. Neat. It sounds yeah. like a ticker tape. Yeah, it's very, uh, yeah. If the electricity 
flickers in the middle of the night and it goes off. It's, it, it does. <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. There's one more really fun. Hello. Oh my gosh. Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, that is just the coolest thing I have seen in quite a long time. Can you draw pictures on it? Like, could you put a skeleton or something? Um, it, well, every, every single slot has uh, every number, every letter, every color. Yeah. So you have to work within the, yeah. those yeah. parameters. But yeah, you, there are some really fun, um, you know, kind of art that will, so for example, cherries. Oh, my god! I think that's a cup of coffee, a road So it's runner. just how much of your life do you want to <laughs> spend doing fun things yeah. on this? It, but it's what cool. a creative exercise. It's called a Vesta board. A Vesta board. Yeah. It's been endless fun. And my nieces and nephews, too, they just will oh, of course. grab my phone and... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Linda, the sheets are on the bed. You can put up now. <laughs> oh, Madeline, you indulge me so... Okay, this is great. Love this runner, both practically and decor-wise. Oh my goodness, is there really storage under here? It is. It's um, it's cedar. That is so. Oh, you don't need okay. to. You don't need to. I just was wondering if that was just kind of a faux thing or if you really did. And this was already here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We okay. love to read, so we have grateful for all the spots for the books. Yeah, we frequently have recommended books back and forth to one another on many occasions. And this, I, I really want to focus on this a little bit because this is a great idea that would not be that expensive to execute. Let me get out of your way, Stuart. That would not be that expensive to execute if you had an area like this in your home, whether it's a new home or an old home, it would really, because there's, there's not a ton of expensive molding or anything on this, but it is just so practical and good looking and you have storage. So that's yeah. exceptional and more, more light. And I, I'm going to imagine the plant, plantation shutters were already here. Those were actually the only windows upstairs that didn't have the shutters. So when we've got a, a, a bathroom straight ahead and wanted to make sure there's a little privacy because it's not connected to a bedroom. And we added those. We found the, the gentleman who did, had done the other the ones. Mm -hmm, and he came and fit them for purpose. And now we can have both the wonderful light, but also the yeah. them when we need a Incredible. Little Just incredible. Okay, so how many bedrooms is this? Well, it's fun fact. It was originally four, we've learned. and uh, But somewhere in the 100-year history, yeah. they turned the two bedrooms on the east side of the house into a, a large primary bedroom. Oh, wonderful. So um, it's three today, three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Okay. And this, is this your office or is this Kale's office yes, or it's both? My, it's my office and Kale has an office here in town that he is able to go into. So tell me about these incredible oh, chairs. It's There's this, one downstairs too. Yeah, in there. yeah, we bought them as a pair and, um, you know, found it online. Can also send you the link and they're quite comfortable given their unique shape, but I think they're kind of art deco. Oh, they're very art deco, but also contemporary, yes. but I, oh, the texture of it. Yeah, yeah. a little pillow on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, a little lumbar pillow, mm -hmm. but yeah, these, this is incredible. I love how many reading nooks you have. Now I found this light off of your Amazon page. This oh, you did? Oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's, Stuart, just FYI, <laughs> this is, I have these in kind of a shiny chrome, and, and this is what we use to light the interior of the cottage when we're For shooting videos. things, but boy, in brass, it's good looking. And I have a matching black one in the other bedroom. I love it so much, I bought multiple. <laughs> I know, they look so that's expensive. Good. Yes. Yeah. They, do. they look so so expensive and I guess we're just really on a lamp kick but those are <laughs> wonderful. Those are wonderful too. Um, don't you just love matching lamps that flank console tables like that? I think it's yes. such a good easy look. The symmetry and I'm digging the hand candle. Oh, I just bought that Ralph Lauren book too. Oh, you did. I just bought it for myself. 
I haven't even gotten a chance to fully look through I haven't either. either. I haven't either. We but should, it's, we should get coffee. Oh, we together. should. Oh, let's. Okay, let's do that. Uh, like let's outside. get that. If yeah. you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, Ralph Lauren has, it's relatively new. Yeah. Um, we can do a close up at my house and I can show some images from it. It's relatively new and it's kind of an anthology of his work over time. Um, and also a pretty good continuum of different style phases of his and different aesthetics, yeah. um, beach to safari to, you know, his classic Western kind of look. But it's, it's fun. Yes. It's eye candy. So we'll, we'll, I'll try to put a link to that too, I guess. And, and for um, all the folks who work from home, you know, uh, it's a constant, it's a constant evolving journey, I would say, to find the right technology. Yes. So what I say, what I would love about this light here is it, you can actually uh, extend it up higher and twist down at the bottom. And so you're not staring straight into a ring light. Mm. That's what I'm going with oh, this. Oh, okay. So, so for Zoom calls and things, oh man. Yeah, we I have to look at this, yeah. Yeah, I, I need one of those. Um, and you can also, turn it you can you can you know adjust the curve, yeah exactly yeah. and so for i know a lot of people are on zoom calls now yeah. who are working from home and so i just think this is a really nice it's i think it's lodgy anyway i'm happy to I, share the link yeah then. no that's that is such a good a good thing of course if anybody should be technologically hip it would be an ai <laughs> an ai person what's this this is just a, a camera that if you would just want a little bit higher of a quality of camera than what's in yeah. your laptop already um this clips on to your monitor your machine and you can and even, not too expensive either up there yep it's just a really good the just picture the image nice quality yeah. is really really good and i think that's so uh, it, it you know it may seem like a superficial thing but when you have really um, high value meetings yeah. that have consequences. A lot of people are conducting, you know, job interviews, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I remember very initially my first contact with QVC and I was meeting with a whole panel of people mm -hmm. and whatever that was on, on Zoom. And so I think sometimes that technology, it isn't just superficial to make you kind of look better. It really makes you look more professional and and not dark. Well, difference between a low-res right. image, yeah. yeah, which is yeah. hard. To, yeah. Yeah. And, and, but. and we, you know, if we're going to the office every day, we might spend that on, you know, suits, and if we're not having to do that. Oh, that's a great point. Yeah, that's absolutely a great point. I, I will say that I do wish my office was as neat as yours. <laughs> and right now, it is well, not. It is not. You have the home tour, so I It can, is uh, not. I, yeah, well, I'll be, I'll be on the Christmas tour, so you may have to come over and help me and share all of your tips. <laughs> The, one of the other, uh, so the guest bedroom, and just a, the the feeling I wanted in here was calm, calm, just just absolute calm. Mm -hmm. Well, and and your guests, and sadly, my guest bedroom is also where a lot of you know Jamie's stuff is and whatever, so it's not necessarily calm. But when you are visiting someone, you know you got your own stuff, so to have to accommodate your the stuff you are bringing mm -hmm. along with the stuff. Of the of the homeowners, um, this is fabulous. There's the lamp in black. Man, yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is just perfect. I don't have a ton of space for a really large lamp there, but it. it um, yeah, can, let me let me just play Vanna White and please. demonstrate. How, excuse me, Stuart, yeah, but light. this is how it brightens. And dims. And it's an LED light, so it's a good, nice light. It's yes, not like yes, and it and it does expand. I have to say, it looks more expensive in brass and black than it does in <laughs> in the color that 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 I've got. But it's it's so chic and boy, it reads so expensive. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, and I know, you know, to some of you think, oh, why do you just why do you? It sounds like you're selling stuff. I just know I will get. I don't know how many stuff, okay. direct <laughs> messages and things yeah. asking for the link. So this way it's just easier if I point it out. Plus people, people want to know, I don't like to shop yeah, and I don't like to get out and shop. So right. the more I can do online now that not thrifting, notwithstanding and supporting my local businesses, notwithstanding, right. but something like this, if I can find it online, just by saying Madeline, send me a link. <laughs> and, and that I do with you frequently. Yes. Yes. With each other. 
this is fabulous. Oh, I love the tile. Okay, it's this is fabulous. Very, very... No wonder you bought this house. <laughs> I lucked out, and we lucked out. Um, and the washer and dryer, were they? was that already up here? Um, it was when we moved in. And that's a luxury in these old homes, because they're almost always in the basement. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. to have this upstairs, it's... Somebody brought it up here. I'm oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody brought it up, up here, I'm sure. That's one of the easier staircases to get up, because not some I've had to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little wider than most. Yeah. No, no, yeah. that would, I, I assume this bathroom was redone. And I'm surprised you were <laughs> able to fit a full-scale washer and dryer. I've got just a small-scale one, um, but it's because it was all I could get during COVID when I needed to replace oh. my washer and dryer. That kind of makes me oh, wonder I, if we had to take this door off to get them in. I don't know. Yeah. That's a scale. And these are, we have a, there's a local. Um, this is your previous home. Yes. These are uh, drawings by Chris Castro, who's local here in Oklahoma City. And he does incredible artwork. And you can, we've given these as gifts. In fact, this was a gift to, to us. And we loved it so much. We got, had him do our previous house. Yeah. And it's, so it's really special. To, yeah. Yeah. I had, there's a, also a local artist. I don't know if I showed it to you where she did a collage. She did a collage of the cottage, and she used Vintage Life magazines for the material. And it is it is just so, so charming. And I need to see, Stuart, we need to put a link, um, or maybe Can right right here, here, let's put, I will. And for a while, she was stopping commissions. She got a, we did a video with her. She's a local artist, and she got a lot of commissions. And I know she, um, she has a son who has health challenges, and she had to stop commissions for a while. But I think she's starting up again. Okay. So yeah, it would be right up what here, Ellie. What a gift! Too, yeah, yeah. No, these kinds of things they support local artists, and they're so personal. I just remembered the other video. This we is shot. the <laughs> this is the house you helped with. This yes, yeah. uh -huh. yes. So now you remember, Stuart. Remember yeah, now with you're with the blue you're shutters, the kind of gray. Oh, Madeline, this is awesome. Thank you very this much. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It's the uh, so this was at one point I am told two bedrooms. Oh yeah, it would have it would have to be because right. this is a king size bed yes. in what is now a king size room. Yes. <laughs> well said. We the windows up here are fabulous. It's uh, also uh, calming, but a little more color. Yeah, it, but it's very calming. And again, I love the consistency of the nod that you've done to the Southwest. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Tell me about the bed. The bed, this is uh, from Crate and Barrel, and it's um, a, one of the lines they carry where they partner with a, a, an artist, a, a designer. Uh -huh. And so I had a canopy bed as a kid growing up. And so this just really spoke to me, and I thought the curved lines were really modern so, yeah. and fun. Yeah. Um, it gives you a feeling. Uh -huh. It's kind a of. statement piece yeah. in the room, and then really you could pair it with so many different things: light wood, dark wood. Yeah. Um, and I love the. Um, I think this is a great takeaway. You that you have massive pieces of artwork instead of you know lots of multiple pieces of artwork, which which I love. Um, but this room also, maybe it's because of the ceiling fan. That looks like it was original to the house almost. Might, yeah, that's right. Uh, but it also has, I don't know, a Casablanca vibe. It's got just, it's a real fusion of, of different things. Styles. It's just its just wonderful. And, oh yeah, the bathtub in there looks great. Oh, that's this, like my bathtub. So I agonized over... Uh, the bath when we redid the bathroom and I ended up with the curved the curved back mm -hmm. and That's what I did, yeah. it's fantastic because it's really if you like to read in the tub it's it, yeah I got those side table right by mine you can just put things on it's great for it both. reminds me of those old westerns where they would be the cowboys would be taking a bath you yes. know and they'd be raised on one side yes. that's what it, it reminds me of and I I have to say I love your blonde wood that yeah, table, yeah. Back yeah, backups. <laughs> I need a backup beeps. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it just is, 
It's just incredible. Thank it you. is just incredible. Thanks. And I, this is the first time I have seen it upstairs and it's every bit as amazing as the downstairs and the entire house is every bit as amazing as you. Aww. And so it's so reflective of your personality. It's got your same warmth and exuberance. And your mom and I have often said, you are one of the most enthusiastic people that we know about all of life. You Aww. talk about somebody who really grabs life by the horns. By the let's learn horns. Spanish. Let's, oh, speaking of, travel to, let's, oh, I know. And she, and she does, and she does. You're in, but okay. So because you're also into uh, gems and gemology, yeah. are you going to go to the, the gem show that's I coming up? I, it, it's, it, I think I were in Santa Fe speaking of that weekend. I need to double okay. check the dates. Um, I was very sad. Yeah. Well, really I think good. Stuart, we need to go. Uh, mm-hmm. my friend, my friend, Jean from, um, formerly from Southern Living was yeah. telling me about it. He said, Oh, you need to go to this and yeah. you need to do a video on it because the stuff just looked incredible. And, um, I've been taking classes with the GIA, yeah. Gemological Institute of America. Oh, wow. So it's been a, my, my current latest hobby is to learn all about gems. Yeah. She, her, her interests are wide <laughs> interests are very very wide as your mom's interests yeah. are as thank your mom's you. interests thank are that's very generous okay thank yes you. okay sweetie thank you, okay, thank you i appreciate thank you. it and I, I guess i'll see you tonight i'll see you tonight yeah thank oh and we are think i think yeah i'm sorry the, the third but I, the, the, I know i never can close i'm sorry it's me I, it's my weak link um but i know you're going to ask how you can get tickets yes. And we believe, I believe, that you can come. You're on just down the street from me. Do you mind if I share your Absolutely, address? Please. Okay, it's 214 Northwest 18th Street. It is east of the cottage. Mm-hmm. And I believe you can buy, you can just walk up and buy yeah. tickets at the table here. And what are the dates and times? Um, tonight, 530 to 7 or 8. I'd have to double check. And then it's tomorrow and Sunday as well. Uh, you can go to the neighborhood website, Heritage Hills, here in Oklahoma City, to also find out the exact times <laughs> yeah. um, for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. And I uh, would love to see you on the tour. Yeah. And, and I think you, I don't so. think tonight it's open to the public, but I think Saturday and Sunday so it, it is. Yeah, right. it is. Yeah, it is open to tonight. The public. It's for the neighborhood. Right. To, uh, celebrate the neighborhood, yeah. and then Saturday and Sunday, anyone is yeah yeah can come. yeah yeah. So maybe we'll see some of you there. <laughs> Take care. Thank you again.